Netflix may be in talk with cable companies for being a part of the set-top boxes. Joining me now is Chris Siach, our technology editor. So, Chris, you say that this is kind of a thawing now between these two, basically, adversaries in the media space. Yeah, what this signals, Deb, is that Netflix and companies like Cablevision, Time Warner Cable and Comcast are now actively talking, perhaps bringing Netflix and its popular streaming services to what consumers want. Cable companies realize that they own the pipes, they own their internet, and by bringing Netflix to the cable company set-top boxes, this could potentially mean more services that customers buy from the cable companies, like high-speed internet. So it signals that perhaps the two companies are not actually big adversaries as people think. All right, well, to me, it seems like it's just kind of a low-tech solution to a smart TV. If you got a smart TV now, you click on an icon that's already there for Netflix. Is, isn't that what this is, just kind of a workaround? It is, but people have to realize that a lot of smart TVs, although people do have them, not many of them are set up to the internet. So this is actually kind of a workaround, but people still realize that smart TVs can actually be connected to the internet. So this is something that will not only increase benefit for the cable vision or cable companies, cable vision, Comcast, etc. It's also a benefit to Netflix because it brings more additional subscribers, and that's what Netflix trades off of. All right, so the stock is up today based on this news because people are assuming that it could bring in lots and lots of subscribers, but we really don't know anymore. We don't even know if this is true that they're talking to them. It seems to me that Netflix would have to pay the cable companies to be there because they probably don't necessarily need them or want them, and if they have to pay to be there, that's going to cut into their costs per customer. Yeah, we, we really don't know what's going on with the pricing structure, the details of the contract. Netflix already has a deal with Virgin Media for its set-top box, but we are not sure on the details. Netflix and Virgin Media haven't really provided any clarity. You mentioned the stock, too. Stock's also up on a price target raise from J.P. Morgan. J.P. Morgan analyst Doug Amoth raised a price target to 340 saying, we could see millions more subscribers uh, for the streaming service by 2015. So that's why we're also seeing a little bit of the benefit of the stock. But I don't think that anything is going to come to this deal, at least not soon. Talks are supposedly on the very early stages, so it's not likely we hear anything before the end of the year. All right. Well, as we get more information, we will give it to you. That's Chris Siacha, and I'm Deborah Borchart with The Street.